so you might have seen some YouTube videos about how to make money and earn passive income with ChatGPT. But there's actually more to it than what you've been told. In this video, I'll show you the 5 smartest ways to write unique YouTube video scripts with ChatGPT. First, keep in mind that ChatGPT is a general artificial intelligence tool. While it can provide a foundational guide for producing expert or professional articles and scripts, it's not quite the same as an expert script writer. However, if you want to create YouTube video scripts on any topic, you can use any of these 5 methods. The interview method, the copy and cast method, the reconstruction method, the initial draft completion method, and the general draft method. Let's start with the interview method. In this method, you make ChatGPT an expert in a particular area, and conduct an interview by asking it to respond like a professional or expert in that field would. Since ChatGPT has been trained on millions of parameters, it can use natural language processing and advanced algorithms to understand how an expert would handle the questions you ask. For example, you could prompt it with something like, act like a dietitian and give me five diet plans for people who work out a lot, excluding protein shakes and including more affordable meal plans. Or, if you're a health expert, what 10 exercises would you recommend for people who want to gain muscle mass? The key is to ask ChatGPT to act like something or someone and respond accordingly. Once you have the outputs generated by ChatGPT, you can copy, organize, and modify them into a coherent YouTube video script. It's a powerful way to create unique content with ChatGPT. On to the second method, which is the copy and cast method, or technically, the copy and transform method. With this method, you give ChatGPT an already published article, a completed passage, or an existing YouTube video script, and then ask it to create something new based on that information. For example, you could prompt ChatGPT with something like, the passage below is on the Goldilocks rule. I want you to generate a new passage that is similar in style and length to the original passage, but on a different topic or concept that is not related to the Goldilocks rule. Then you would insert the original passage. This way, you're telling ChatGPT to develop entirely new information that retains some properties or attributes of the original which is why it's called the copy and cast method. To put this into practice, you can find an already published article or the transcript of an existing YouTube video, and then ask ChatGPT to generate a new passage in the same style, format, and possibly with the same word count as the original, but on an entirely different topic. So if you really like the way a YouTube intro is presented or a YouTube content is structured, you can ask ChatGPT to write on something else but in a similar style to what you've provided. It's a great way to create fresh content with the help of ChatGPT. Now let's talk about the third method, which is the reconstruction method. This is actually one of the best ways to use ChatGPT. It involves asking ChatGPT to improve upon a provided passage or script by making grammatical corrections, expanding on the content, summarizing the content, or even rewriting the content in a new style or tone. You get to be in control and tell ChatGPT exactly what you want to be done on the script. For example, you could give ChatGPT a prompt like, make grammatical corrections to this passage and rewrite it in a conversational tone. If you typically write YouTube video scripts by yourself, all you have to do is create the initial script without worrying about grammatical errors or mistakes. Once you're done, you can simply ask ChatGPT to make grammatical corrections to the sentences, expand where necessary, and recreate the entire structure of the script according to your desired style. Based on my experience with using ChatGPT, this method has the least likelihood of generating outputs that can be flagged as AI-generated content, unless the original text was copied from somewhere else. So it's a great way to polish up your scripts and make them even better with the help of ChatGPT. The next method is the initial draft completion method. Here, you provide ChatGPT with an initial passage and then ask it to complete the rest of the script or article by building off of the initial draft. For example, you could give ChatGPT a prompt like, the passage below is on a YouTube video script on the topic, how we could avoid an AI disaster in the future. I want you to rewrite and complete the script, make it about 300 words in total, use as many illustrations and examples as possible, and the final output should be in a calm and relaxed conversational tone. If you want to apply this method, it's important to be as specific as possible with the prompts you give to ChatGPT. Provide all the necessary details on how you want ChatGPT to complete the script. The initial draft completion method works best if you split your script into sections and provide an anchor paragraph for each section. 
This way, you ensure that ChatGPT stays on track and doesn't generate random passages. The last method, which is the general draft method is the most popular way of writing YouTube video scripts with ChatGPT, but it's also the least effective method. In this case, you give ChatGPT prompts with context and specific instructions on the desired output format. For example, you could provide ChatGPT with a prompt like, I want you to write a YouTube video script on the topic. How to remain motivated even when you're not feeling it. The script should be about 350 words in total, with a strong sentimental tone, in a conversational style, and with as many illustrations as possible. You can also include quick motivational stories of some famous historical figures or role models. Based on my experience with using ChatGPT, this method has the highest likelihood of generating outputs that can be flagged as AI-generated content, or even plagiarized content that may have been copied from elsewhere. So it's important to be cautious when using this method to ensure that the content generated by ChatGPT is original and not flagged as potentially problematic. To summarize, the most important step is to always rewrite the final outputs yourself. This cannot be emphasized enough. Never simply copy and paste the outputs generated by ChatGPT without thoroughly reviewing the script, making necessary corrections, and adding your own unique touch to make it sound more natural and less like machine-generated content. If you're looking to start a faceless YouTube channel on zero budget, there are plenty of free AI tools available to help you achieve that. I've covered these tools in detail in the video shown here. Thanks for watching, and I would be happy to see you in the next one.